Hey creative minds, in my very first video, I crafted a thumbnail that not only caught eyes, but also boasted an impressive 8% click-through rate organically. Yeah, you heard it right, 8%. Now you might be wondering, how can we design such thumbnails by only using Canva? That growing light effect, right? People think that to make these types of thumbnails, we need paid and expensive software, but it's not true. We can make these types of thumbnails on Canva too. Well, that's what today is all about. We won't just learn how to whip up visually stunning thumbnails like the one that rocked that 8% CTR. We're going deeper into the psychology behind creating thumbnails that make people click. Imagine you are scrolling through YouTube and among the sea of videos, there's one thumbnail that stands out like a beacon, practically begging you to click on it. Ever wondered why? It's not just about colors and fonts. It's about telling a story in a tiny space, about creating an emotional connection before the play button is even hit. Today, we're unraveling the secrets behind those attention-grabbing thumbnails. We'll explore the power of faces, the impact of vibrant colors, curiosity's magic, and the consistency that builds your brand. So buckle up because by the end of this tutorial, you'll be wielding the creative prowess to design thumbnails that look amazing and compel viewers to click and explore your content. Let's get started by understanding the science behind creating an awesome thumbnail. Creating an engaging YouTube thumbnail isn't just about visuals, it's about mastering the art of storytelling. Your thumbnail is like the cover of a book, giving viewers a sneak peek into the narrative of your video. To truly captivate your audience, we must embed our video's story into our thumbnail design, setting expectations and sparking curiosity. Our thumbnail serves as a compact summary, a visual trailer that hints at the outcomes viewers can anticipate. When someone clicks on your video, they should already know the journey they're about to embark on. It's about showcasing the results and the value your content delivers. And trust me, this simple science can make a world of difference. Think about it. You've probably scrolled through countless videos with thumbnails flaunting the results. Take, for instance, a search for how to train a dog. Notice a common thread among the top results? That's right, a captivating thumbnail featuring a snapshot of the dog training process. It's like a preview of what awaits in the video. So, here's the secret sauce. Craft your YouTube thumbnail by giving your viewers a taste of the result or output. Let the thumbnail be a visual promise of the value they're about to receive. And today, I'm beyond excited to guide you through this journey. So grab your creative cap, fire up Canva, and let's together plunge into the mesmerizing world of thumbnail design. So first of all, head over to canva.com. Now on the right-hand top corner, you will find a search bar where we can search for YouTube thumbnail. These are the recommended thumbnail dimensions for YouTube thumbnail, so just click on it. Now a new window will open with a blank page where we will craft our thumbnail. We will copy my style with examples so that you can understand how to create an attention-grabbing thumbnail. As we can see, our design has a black rough background. To get this background, head over to the Elements tab and search for Black Wall Texture Rough Background. Now we can drag and drop this image to our editing space. Now set this as our background. With our background image in place, let's now turn our attention to the YouTube icon, just like the one in my thumbnail. It's time to craft the next chapter of our visual story. To snag the YouTube icon, pop over to Google and type in YouTube Logo 3D. Pick one and download it by double-clicking and hitting Save Image. I've already got mine, so I'm skipping this step. Now, upload your downloaded image to Canva. Now go to Uploads tab and search for your uploaded YouTube icon. Grab your YouTube icon and toss it onto the program window for some editing magic. Start by enlarging and tweaking your icon to fit seamlessly into your thumbnail. After tweaking, let's spice things up by adding a blur effect to our icon. To infuse that blur, head to Edit Photo. Navigate to Shadows and opt for the Glow effect. Pick your glowing color, let's go with white. And just like that, our icon is now rocking the glowing effect. Now on to our next move. Let's place that dollar cash base beneath our icon. Navigate to the Elements tab and search for money. In the Photos section, find your preferred image. I'm going with this one for my base click on it and it will appear in our editing space. Now we need to remove its background, which is straightforward with the Canva background tool. To do so, click Edit Photo and then Background Remover. After some time, the background will be removed from the picture. Now the background is removed, we can adjust it behind our icon to get specific parts, we can crop them, adjust it according to the space, and place it like this. Now copy it with Command plus C and paste it with Command plus V with your keyboard. Now rotate it to the other side 
and try to place it accordingly. Again, copy it and place it in the middle to cover our base. And boom, we have successfully placed our icon and cache according to our target thumbnail. We are almost done with graphics part. Now we're going to add text to our thumbnail. To do so, again head over to Canva and in the Elements tab, search for Shapes. Click on this rounded corner square shape and place it here. Now you can choose a color for this box, so I'm going to give it a green color. Instead of using solid green, you can also go with gradient mix green. Now we can adjust it according to our requirements like changing the length and height of the box. Now we need to change the radius of the box corner. To do so, you have to click on these lines and here you can tweak the settings of the box. For the corner radius, I love setting it to 20. Now we can style it by rotating its angle. Boom, we have successfully created our box. Now we will add text to this box. There are two ways of adding text to this box. One is by dragging and dropping text from the box and the other is by double clicking in the box. By double clicking, text will appear and you can type your desired text in the box. Now it's time to sprinkle some style on our text. Let's have some fun playing around with fonts and text sizes to make it pop and super easy to read. After all, the main goal here is to whip up a thumbnail that sparks curiosity and excitement for our viewers. So we can do this by tweaking the text and results that we provide in our thumbnail. Now to make the text stand out, we are going to choose a font style for the text. So to style our text, we have to double click on the text and go to the font styles option. Search for the A Grand Dear Grand font style. This is what I like for its clear to read letters. Now scale your text to somewhere around 50 and here we go. Our text is now looking nice. Make it bold. Change the color to white. We also have a border in our text. So to make our text with borders, go to effect option, click on outline and select the outline color black. Now click on the text, copy it and paste it on the same panel. You can do this by command plus C to copy and command plus V to paste. Adjust the text. Now I'm going to write niches. Now select this text and scale it to somewhere around 65. The goal is to match the width of the box to make it align for better design. Now for both the text, make it to italics. And here we go. Our text is now in place and we can now go to the next step, which is the box with a certain amount. Here's the secret sauce that boosted my CTR to 8%. It's all about sparking curiosity in your viewers' minds. Imagine them thinking, what are those niches that rake in this much cash? To dial up the intrigue, I spilled the beans on a specific channel's earnings. Now my viewers are itching to uncover the mystery of which niche can pull in big bucks on YouTube. This is how you have to add curiosity to your thumbnails. Remember, less is more. Keep it clean, keep it intriguing. Think of your thumbnail as the movie poster for your video. Make it blockbuster worthy. To make this box, we can copy our first box to eliminate the process from starting. So go to Canva and choose the box we created earlier. Now copy and paste it in the same editing space. Now adjust it, increase its height and change the color to white. Let's fine tune things to match our thumbnail vibe. It's all about making everything on the screen visually captivating with special attention to our star player, the result part. In my case, that's the captivating, the amount. Let's make it steal the show. Now we can focus on adding text to the box. To add text, go to text tab and drag and drop subheading to our editing space. Adjust it, and now we are going to add text to our box. So to add text, copy the first line from our thumbnail and paste it on the text box. Now go to the color option and change its color to slightly black or gray. Now for this part, go to the text tab and drag and drop heading to the editing space. Adjust it according to alignments. Now paste the amount. Make it a little bit larger and change its color to gray or light black like the previous one. Now duplicate the first line and plop it in the same spot. Place it right beneath the amount text. Copy the text again and paste it on the third line. Shrink it down, align it just right, and boom! Our results part of the thumbnail is good to go. Now that the text is in place, let's dive into some styling fun. For the final touch, let's give the last sentence a splash of style with the Caladia font. Head over to the fonts option, search for Caladia, and simply click on it. Watch as the enchanting Caladia font transforms our selected text. Now make it unbold and change its style to italic. Choose our next text and opt for the Canvas Sans font. Add a twist of flair by switching it to italics for that extra dash of style. For the text at the top, dive into the fonts tab and let's find for Lex and Deka. Click on it and boom! Our text now looks absolutely awesome. Don't forget to fine tune the alignment for that perfect polished finish. Just take a peek, our thumbnail is rocking the awesome vibe now. Now we are left with the upward arrow element. 
To add this element, go back to Canva. Select all three text elements and align them slightly to the right of the box to create some space for adding the upward arrow. Now go to the Elements tab and search for Green Upward Arrow. Switch to the Graphics tab and look for your target element. In my case, I am going to choose this one. Simply click on it and it will appear in our editing space. Make it small, change its color to green and then place it next to the amount text. Now you can make some adjustments for better alignment. We are now left with the neon lighting in our thumbnail and I can tell that most of you are eager to learn this trick. So here we go. To add this effect, go to the Elements tab and search for Green Transparent Gradient. Now several elements will appear on your screen. For my thumbnail, I chose this one. Drag and drop it into our editing space. Place the element in the right corner of the thumbnail. Expand it to cover the top so that our gradient neon color looks natural. Now, copy it with Command plus C and paste it with Command plus V in the same editing space. Place it on the left side of our thumbnail and go to the Flip option. Then flip it horizontally by clicking on Flip Horizontal. Great! Now let's add one more effect. Search for Green Gradient Shadow in the Elements tab and drag it to the editing space. Place this shadow effect between our YouTube icon. Again, copy and paste it, then position it behind the box. Repeat the process for placing it behind our YouTube icon. You might be thinking, this looks messy, right? Yes, it does. So let's make it look awesome by adjusting its layers. To adjust the layers, select any one element in the editing space. Go to the three dots, then to Layers, and click on Show Layers. Here, you can see all the elements of our thumbnail arranged according to the design. The top ones are in the front, and the bottom elements are in the back. The simple science behind this is to send these neon gradient elements to the back of other elements. To do so, you can drag and drop each gradient element to the bottom and make sure it stays upward to our background image. This is how we can easily create these neon shadows on Canva. Now we can adjust these shadows and lights according to our needs. I'm making some tweaks to make our thumbnail more attractive, and you can also try different variations for your thumbnail. From here, you can get an idea of how to use Canva to its full potential, and I'm here to help you with that. Now we are left with the neon coin, so to add this, head over to the Elements tab and search for Neon Coin. You will find this element at the top. Click on it, and it will now appear in the editing space. Here, we can adjust this element according to our design and boom, our design is now almost ready. We are now left with some color combinations to make our thumbnail bright, especially the YouTube icon. Okay, to make this brighter, click on the YouTube icon and go to the Edit Photo option. Now go to Adjust and experiment with these settings. For me, I am going to set temperature to 20, tint to minus 3, brightness between 10 to 15, contrast between 25 to 30, and here are other settings to make our icon stand out and grab the focus of our audience. Congratulations! We have successfully crafted a YouTube thumbnail that can potentially achieve over an 8% click-through rate and contribute to the rapid growth of your videos. With the thumbnail ready, we can now download it to our system. To do this, click on the Share button, go to Downloads, select the image as PNG, and choose settings one point higher. This will ensure we get a high-quality image that is less than 2 MB in size, the recommended size by YouTube. Click on the Download button, and the download process will begin. After a short while, your thumbnail will be downloaded to your system. Great job, everyone. You've just learned how to create an eye-catching YouTube thumbnail using Canva. Thumbnails play a crucial role in attracting viewers, and with these design tricks, you're well on your way to increasing your click-through rate and growing your channel. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below. Also, feel free to share your newly designed thumbnails in the comments. I'd love to see your creativity. If you want more resources and my case studies for free, then you can find those in the description box. If you have any suggestions for the next video topic, the comment section is all yours. Feel free to drop your ideas, and the next video could be based on your request. And if you don't know how to make faceless YouTube videos entirely with AI and Canva, then you can watch this video popping on your screen.